So first of all, welcome back to this franchise. Thank you. Uh, did you miss it? Yeah, I mean, it's you know, it's it's definitely you know a very special movie for me in in many ways, and it's uh, it's so fun to be able to go back and, and revisit her. I've never had that with any other character in a movie. So it's what did you miss the most? I mean, she's a badass, you know. Yeah. It's, it's pretty great to it's pretty great to get to do that, you know. If you imagine yourself, you know, flying through the air with a couple of machine guns, it it is cool, you know. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, this movie follows the second the second one, yeah. right? Is it okay if I didn't watch the third? So it is because I'm not really in it, so you don't have to see it. Okay. <laughs> Did you watch it? I haven't seen it all the way through. I've seen the thing is, and the only reason I haven't seen it is because my husband produced it. Mm -hmm. There was about six months where every time I walked in the house, the dailies of that are playing. I okay. feel like I've seen it okay. ten times, you know. So I have probably seen all of it, but just not all together in the <laughs> right order. Why did you decide to come back? What made you okay? I'm um, Selena again. Well, I think, you know, I hadn't, I, you know, I had actually kind of not been, I'd not worked for a couple of years and um, and I was pretty ready to go back to work and I, I knew I was going to do this movie with Mark Wahlberg, mm -hmm. Contra Band that's coming out and, and then Underworld came up and, and you know, they came up with, I thought, a very, a very cool direction for the story to go and the character to go and have a lot of different things happen and, you know, I like her, I, I think yeah. she's neat, so um, I was okay to go to do that. What do you think about vampires in general? Because I don't like the, the medieval stuff. Right. Like, but the leather, the blood, the violence, yeah. I'm all in. What do you think about vampires in general? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, somebody earlier was saying that vampires never used to be so attractive. Yeah. You know, they always used to be a bit, <laughs> a bit dusty and weird looking. And, and these days, every, every vampire is pretty great looking. Um, I, you know, I like the, I like our take on it. I like the fact that, you know, it's a very ancient story and it's got a lot of, even our movie has a lot of history and a lot of, you know, folklore to it, but it's definitely kind of modern and, mm -hmm. and you know, faster paced and, and cool. I like that. Isn't it a coincidence that Len's not directing this movie and the two Swedish directors in this movie took off your clothes? In the Comic Con, they said to me that it was not a coincidence. That they took my, that I took my clothes off? Yeah. The, <laughs> That's very funny. They were so terrified that day. I didn't see them at all. They were like, okay, okay, that was really great. I didn't see them ever. That's so funny. They were all laughing and saying that we did it in the comic so funny. I actually, I, there's a lot of fog and mist, I'm afraid yeah. to say sorry, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's very funny that they said that. <laughs> I'm sure Len would be fine. Len's always, you know, Len, my husband is pushing me off buildings and making me kiss yeah. other boys. And, you know, I've, I've had to kiss... Scott Speedman and have sex scene with him and it's Colin Farrell, my husband's standing with him. He doesn't care. <laughs> and oh, what's a good movie. the most difficult, to be naked in the movie or to wear the, this leather suit? I think being naked is worse, just just simply because it makes everybody else mm -hmm. so uncomfortable. I mean, <laughs> I love how they're bragging about it. They were mortified. I mean, I yeah. didn't see them. <laughs> they were just, I think they went home and like punished themselves. <laughs> <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs>